Hello, good evening, everybody. Please confirm if you can hear me. Welcome to special Josh session on time management. We are here to manage time. We are here to hack life. Please confirm in chat quickly, everybody, if you can hear me and see me too. Can you hear me and see me? Yes? All right, wonderful. So, my name is Shekhar Suman. I'm the CEO and Managing Director at Biotechnica. And my job is to pr provide you strategies. Today, I'm in full Josh to welcome all of you to the third session of Josh webinar series, where we are going to hack life. You see, our life is very unique. Nature has gifted us this life without a user manual. And that means we don't know how to use it. For example, you buy an AC, washing machine, fridge or TV, you always get an operating manual. But we don't get an operating manual. So we all live in a default mode and that's what we discussed in our previous session. Do you remember that? Do you remember the previous session guys? Yes? So welcome everybody. In the previous session we discussed about the default mode in which we are living. Today we are going to learn how to hack life. How to make our life better and why live like a punishment whether we are a student or a working professional we need to experiment and find out a way which is enjoyable yet productive, right? Isn't that interesting? I use two contradictory words, in enjoyable yet productive. Can they both go hand in hand? Let's find out today in today's session where we are trying to hack life. And yes, you heard me right. These are very unique sessions brought to you exclusively by the Josh team at Biotechnica. They are in full Josh to start the batch today. We are starting the Josh batch today and Josh batch is starting uh, as I speak and it has already started in the morning. The morning batch started, right? So I'm right now hosting the evening session with all of you. So guys, these sessions are very unique in the sense the content is of very high quality. We don't want to waste your time. We want to teach you not just time management. We want to tell you how can you balance in between your enjoyment and your productivity. In the meanwhile, you enjoy your life. Isn't that amazing? So without wasting much time, I want you all to meet Mr. Patrick. So Mr. Patrick is going to help you understand Time management. Isn't that interesting? So if you want to know more about Mr. Patrick, can you guys quickly type in the chat box, Josh, J-O-S-H. Let's see how much Josh you all have. Can you quickly type in the chat box, J-O-S-H, Josh. If you want to know about Mr. Patrick and how he has managed time management, so how he has learned time management. So I've got the first one here. Okay, Reshmi writes, Josh. We are in full Josh, right? We are in full Josh to achieve success. We are in full Junoon to achieve success. We are driven by failures, but we are not impacted by failures. We are no longer, because of our previous two sessions, we are no longer a victim of circumstance. Rather, we are a student of circumstance. We learn, we adapt, we achieve. So, Mr. Patrick, what Mr. Patrick says is this. P-A-T-T-R-I-C-K. Everywhere on internet you will find time management, but you will not find practical applied time management tricks. So that is what is P-A-T Patrick, right? So Mr. Patrick is nothing but practical applied time management tricks and you are going to remember these tricks whole of your life, right? So now earlier what, I, what did I say? You have you know, you're, you're living in a default mode. So you have four options like Kaan Banega Karodupati. So you have four options. Who wants to be a millionaire? There will be always four options. So you have four options. Work smart, work hard, work hard plus smart or don't work. Which one would you choose? Tell me. Do you want to work smart or work hard or work smart plus hard or you simply don't work? 
If your options don't work, then I think you are in the wrong webinar. But if your option is any of the other three, then let's find out. So quickly in the chat box, everybody tell me what do you want? What do you want? Do you want to work smart, work hard, work smart plus hard or don't work at all? Third option. Wow. Work smart plus hard. Now, this is what makes you stand out of the crowd. In fact, all of you are attending this seminar, this webinar right now live are going to make it big in your life because you know the value of working smart plus hard. Some people think, okay, let's work smart. Some people think let's work hard. But life happens when you combine both. The power of combination. You see, Tata produces steel. The same steel is bought by Maruti and it, they convert it into a car. How? They combine it with various other elements. The tire, the engine, the seats, seat belt, and it becomes a car. Right? So, the power of combination. They bought the steel from Tata and created it into a car. The same way. We have to combine our hard work and smart work. We need to today take a pause and look at our life and find out where we are going wrong and how can we make it right. Now, first thing, which first fact of the day, which I wanted to highlight here, life has no syllabus. Like your CSI net has syllabus, your gate has syllabus. Life has no syllabus, right? So the moment we are born, we are given with a lot of time to live but we don't know what to do with it, right? So our university system, our education system starts pres prescribing wrong prescription to us and we start living that kind of life. But actually, our life is out of syllabus. Everything is out of syllabus. So in that case, what should we do? Now, there is no prescribed books. So you want to study biochemistry? So you can study Leninger. You want to study human anatomy and physiology? You can study Tara Tara. But here in life, we don't have a prescribed book. So nobody tells us, how can we practically apply time management and achieve success. And in the absence of that, we start living a life where my friend says something, I'll do that. My teacher said something, I'll do it. We always start, stop lacking our own opinion. We start doing as per TikTok or Instagram or what Facebook says. We stop living our life. We start, you know, living on the, uh, with powered by cheap do dopamine. So to stop that, Today, I'm here to discuss all this agenda. Today, first we'll discuss how to hack life. Then I'll give you some practical tools and life hacks. Then practical time management tips. Then smart list, how to create that. Then we'll talk about delegating and elevating. Then about rewarding yourself and some bonus brownies, right? Today's session is going to last somewhere around one hour, hopefully. I'll try to be as slow and fast as possible. But let me know if you want me to repeat something or you want me to change, your language, change my language to Hindi. Okay, so I'll always do that. Okay, guys. So shall we get started with the first ta task? Let's hack life. Everybody in the chat box, let's hack life. Can you type in the chat box? Let's hack life. Can we be the, be the ha hackers, right? The Biotechnica has a t-shirt which says biohacker, right? Same way. Can we hack life? Yes. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. So now this, this is one student's, uh, you know, table. So he was studying and you can see what happened, right? The tea has spilled. Can you see? Does this look better? Or this looks better. The tea fell on your laptop. So what's happening? When we live an unorganized life, things happen in the default mode and we have no control. So this looks better or this looks better or this looks better. Clumsy, that's the word. When we live life in default mode, we live a clumsy life. And that is where we waste time. We, we don't even realize that we're wasting time. And at the end of say two years, three years, five years, we realize that we are nowhere, right? We, we, we are standing the way in the place we were. Right? And you remember the vector and scalar quantity, right? Direction. If the speed has got no direction, it will not go anywhere. It will just be there, right? So that's what is happening to all of us. We all start living a clumsy life in the absence of direction. Now, does this look good? You can see this person is highly organized. He's focused. He's doing what he's doing at different places, different occasions, right? So I'll just move out of the screen. You can see. So does this look good? Yes. Of course, it does, right? So what's happening here? We have an option, we have a choice.
And the choice is to live a clumsy life like this or live a organized life like this. But is it so difficult to live an organized life? Now, you know, students or researchers or teachers or whatever you want to become in future, you will be successful in whatever you do if you are organized, if you do the right, right things at the right time, right? So that's where we are going to talk about how to hack life. Now, what are the superpowers of humans in the modern world? So these are the superpowers. Number one, staying organized. Staying organized is a wonderful thing. Steve Jobs or Elon Musk, Shekhar Suman or you. We all get same time. If you stay organized, that's your superpower. Second superpower, doing less. In less time, you can do more. Doing more in less time and resources. For example, I have only one hour with you today, right? In this one hour, how can I compress all the information and deliver it to you in the effective way? That's my expertise, right? So staying organized is your first superpower. Doing more in less time, is your second superpower. The third superpower is achieving deadlines, right? No matter wherever you are, you have to achieve deadlines. Am I right? Type correct in the chat box. Type correct in the chat box if you agree. Everywhere you will have deadlines, correct? Correct or wrong? And the last one, this is also superpower. What is the superpower? Balancing PL and PL. What is PL? Personal life and professional life. So at some point in time, guys, You'll always have a personal life where you'll have a wife or a husband or a girlfriend or boyfriend or parents and uh, relatives. And the other side, you'll have studies, right? Professional life or job, right? Maybe you are a teacher or an assistant professor or you are, um, you know, you teach on YouTube or maybe you, um, you know, are a researcher in IIC Bangalore, who knows? Or maybe, you know, UCLA, Berkeley, wherever. You could be in anywhere. But these are the four superpowers which will make you successful. Remember, greatness is not bought, it is earned. If you want to become great what, in whatever you do in life, these are the four superpowers which you got to achieve. So what I'll do is I'll move out of the screen, guys, for a second. Please take screenshot of this so that it is easier for you to remember because I know you might be traveling, you might be somewhere where you, want, you don't have access to, you know, notes. You can always take your notes okay all right so now let's move on shall we so today i am going to grant you these four super powers so if you attend this session attentively then you're going to get three things the first happy you the second productive you the third which you always want achiever you if you achieve that's what we want Everywhere on internet, people are, you know, stuffing you with concepts. But that's not how competitions are won. Competitions are won when you do self-study. And when you have to do self-study, then you have to know how to hack life and how to hack time management. And that's what we are teaching you today. So today we are going to now show you the tools and life hacks which you have to implement. Some of them will be a little complicated. If you don't understand, you can always skip it. Nothing to worry. So let's start with this hammer. Tools. What is a hammer? Hammer is what? It's a tool, right? What it does? It helps you hit the nail into the wood, like you can see on the screen right now. Correct? So what's happening here? If you don't have the hammer and if you try to press through hand, can you really, you know, pierce through the wood? You really can't. So basically, hammer makes your life easier. Same way, there are some time management tools which makes your life easier. Now you remember this famous physics fulcrum example. So you have the load here, you have the fulcrum and by just pressing it a little effort and you can lift the load which is even heavier than your own weight. Correct? Remember the lever concept in physics classes in our school days? So what was that? Tool. Hammer, tool. Lever, tool. But do we have tools for time management? We'll check that out. Remember wheel, Wheel is said to be the biggest invention of mankind because that way we could commute. We started with bullock carts and then horse carts and then today we are having, you know, battery operated vehicles, autonomous vehicles, right? Remember, what are these? Tools. Tools make our life easy. 
करेक्ट कैन यू गाइस टाइप इन द चैट बॉक्स टूल्स मेक आवर लाइफ इजी टूल्स मेक आवर लाइफ इजी देन ओनली आई टेल यू द टूल्स टूल्स मेक आवर लाइफ इजी क्विकली इन द चैट बॉक्स यस 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 ओके वंडरफुल नाउ द फर्स्ट फैक्ट व्हिच यू हैव टू नो इज एवरी टूल व्हिच यू वांट टू हैव विल कॉस्ट यू मनी ओके सो दिस इज नॉट फॉर फ्री फ्री पीपल हु जस्ट वांट सम फ्री स्टफ ऑन इंटरनेट free stuff on internet is just a gimmick it is just a gimmick to catch your attention and you know not to give you the right thing but tools will cost you money because if you have the right tool then only you can do the right kind of self study then only you can hack life then only you can hack time and then only you can achieve success so tools will always cost you money thank you everybody for typing that tools make our life easy tools make our life easy wonderful now what are those tools will know but okay you say sir that uh, tools make our life easy but they cost money but what's the price of success what is the price of success priceless success is priceless that's the truth can everybody type in the chat box success is priceless success is priceless success is priceless right there is no cost associated with it it is the best thing which can happen to you right so if you want success then there's there's a small price you have to pay which is the tool success is priceless thank you thank you so much kirti was the first person to type in there wonderful so the first thing how smart you your tools can be have you heard of the internet of things have you heard of internet of things internet of things yes 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 so your your devices are connected like my mobile is connected to uh, the laptop the laptop is connected to the desktop everything is connected right so if i copy something in my laptop it gets copied to the desktop so, stuff like that right so internet of things now how many of you remember this picture alexa yes we all know it even the free app is available in the mobile otherwise you can buy the hardware of course it will cost you amazon echo right alexa If you have this device, this is one of the bestest inventions of mankind in last, I think, ten years after the iPhone was brought into market. This is the best invention. Let me repeat it. This is the best invention for students who want to manage time. This tool simplifies your life. Now, how does it do that? Here it is. It doesn't just act as an alarm clock, as you can see here. It helps you set reminders. So you can just say, Alexa, set a reminder for 4 p.m. to study molecular biology it helps you do that suppose you started studying and you set up pomodoro technique that after 45 minutes i should take a break set a timer say alexa i want to set a timer for 45 minutes at 45th minute it will start ringing you will know okay you have to take a break you can also ask alexa to email you the important to dos like okay alexa make a list and email me so she will ask what is the thing you want in the list you just say it You can do it. Another very interesting thing which I am mentioning here is controlling smart devices. Many people might not know this, but I can or you can control all the lights in this room, all the fans, all the ACs, everything through just saying, right? Even you can time it through Alexa. For example, you want to switch off all the lights at 10 p.m. sharp, it will do that for you, right? And of course, there's bonus. listening music and if you have kids you can always engage them i'm sure you might not have them because you're very young but yes these are the benefits but look at this we all procrastinate we hate writing and typing right and that is why we stop you know planning or stop uh, everything and anything in our life so these things are voice operated right you can control the smart devices and you can make any device smart so using that what happens now is you will be able to become super productive now how you will become become super productive let me show you now there are some more you know tools here the best one you can see is gmail right now you can see how gmail is a productivity tool i am going to show you another one is a little complicated called as ifttt which i'll show you the third one is very traditional here which is the whiteboard with a uh, you know marker then we have uh the smart sockets as you can see here this is a smart socket here and then we have the uh, productivity tool called as any.do so there are multiple such tools uh, i personally use any.do and todoist many such tools are there now what these tools do let me show you okay now let us type in the chat box smart work is equal to smart devices okay 
स्मार्ट वर्क इज इक्वल टू स्मार्ट डिवाइसेस वी हैव टू आउटसोर्स आवर हार्ड वर्क टू स्मार्ट डिवाइसेस राइट सो स्मार्ट वर्क इज इक्वल टू स्मार्ट डिवाइसेस एवरीबडी इन द चैट बॉक्स क्विकली राइट नाउ लेट मी शो यू द फर्स्ट थिंग व्हिच इज जीमेल राइट सो सपोज आई नो दैट आई हैव टू स्टार्ट अ रिवीजन ऑन फर्स्ट ऑफ जून और से फर्स्ट ऑफ जुलाई आई नीड टू स्टार्ट अ रिवीजन ऑन समथिंग सो व्हाट आई विल डू इज आई विल स्केड्यूल अ ईमेल टू माय सेल्फ okay and put this okay and click on schedule send so what happens is it will send me a email on that particular day that okay mr shaker you need to revise this so what happens is it gives me a additional reminder it's smart it's easy i don't need to remember i just schedule it whenever i plan it and it keeps sending me email at regular intervals that way i stay on the top of whatever i'm doing because the worst place where we all waste time is facebook instagram and of course our emails right why not transform our emails into a super productivity tool right smart work is equal to smart device so that's what gmail is a smart way of operating things very simple now the next iftt which is if this then that the full form of if triple t is if this then that so let's say uh, you want to use if triple t or alexa and you want to control all this so you might have geysers in your home or air conditioners and or uh, lights or water motor pumps oven whatever you can always make them smart for example when your mobile phone goes the charge goes below 20% it sends you an email that your mobile phone charge has gone down right maybe you missed out but that email pop up notification will show so the, the multiple things which we can do here with i if triple t and lights and uh, other smart devices let me show you so you know one thing i i am worst at is i'll be using my phone but i never look at the battery right i'll be checking my email i'm super productive but these devices have a limitation right so i'm attending some class or some seminar some workshop online and mobile and suddenly the battery starts dropping right we don't realize because we look, focus on the work instead of looking at the top right hand corner and seeing the battery but what if it just sends us a notification that your battery is low right so you know these things matter okay now the next one now any dot do so what i did is i paid for any dot do now what any dot do does is it sends me these kind of notifications okay in whatsapp yes if you pay for any dot do it will start sending you notifications in whatsapp as well now whatsapp is a worst place where you waste time but each time you open whatsapp you see a task is pending what would you do you'll do that task right more the reminders better the management and execution of time okay it is not that we don't want to do it is just that unless somebody reminds us we won't do it for example how many of you drink 6 liters water a day which is medically prescribed for all humans we don't we forget so what if you can see here at the last it is uh, mentioned here that you, your task drink 1 liter water is not you so it just reminds me that i should drink water right so that way now these smart apps helps me automate my life so that i don't need to worry about multiple things i can just focus on one thing which is my studying or my work okay so that's any dot do i also use to do is i'll show you about it later now another thing whiteboard you all must have whiteboard in your house you know you have to take the whiteboard and divide it into three columns do doing done okay and you can just move the sticky notes or you can just write it down whatever you are going to do today what you're doing and what you have done now this way what happens is there are two benefits your family members are also seeing that you have this work at this time so they will not disturb you right the family members don't become a distraction the second is when you look at the board every morning or each time you walk around you know we have to stick to work or so you have to stick to studies so that way this old school method also helps so keeping a whiteboard it cost you maybe 1000 rupees but it is a amazing productivity tool at biotechnica we have a whiteboard in almost every room everywhere you walk in because that's how we are so productive right so that's yes whiteboard all right now i'm sure you must have heard of trello if not i'm going to show you a demo trello is a free app it's a website trello.com you will love it okay i'll show you a demonstration of that so it gives you a birds eye view of what you're going to do it helps you create lists and it helps you drag the tasks from one column to another 
you know it helps you stay productive and it helps you organize your week not just the days let me show you a demonstration here so as you can see here i have monday tuesday wednesday this side thursday friday right so what ha what's happening here now so here we have this monday whatever is there i have here now tuesday i have it here now suppose some task of tuesday i forgot to do i can always drag it to wednesday so this way what happens now is i will be able to do it for example you can see saturday and sunday least tasks are there friday and other days we have more tasks so this way we will be able to do things better okay now what is the smartness here the smartness is combining old tools with new tools okay let's type in the chat box smartness is equal to combine old tools with the new ones old plus new smartness is equal to old plus new smartness is equal to old plus new so it's not that we will just stop using the old tools whiteboard it's amazing invention right so smartness is equal to old plus new so for example you can use alexa plus whiteboard plus trello plus todoist for task and reminders so what todoist does is it gives you every 30 seconds every 30 minutes it gives you the notification of the next task Trello helps you organize the week. Whiteboard helps you stay organized throughout the day. And Alexa keeps giving you a reminder what time you have to start the next task. Amazing. Right. Smartness is equal to old plus new. Now, next. Smart plug plus maths alarm. Now, you know, um, there are many people in Biotechnica who already know this, that 345 sharp, you'll find Shekhar Suman at work. I'll be working 3 45 4 o'clock I'll wake up and I'll start my day so how do I do that initially it was very tough so what I did is I bought some smart plugs and programmed my Alexa so that it will switch on all the lights in my room the moment it is 3 45 4 o'clock and now the alarm will go off but that is a maths alarm if you just go in Google Play Store or Apple uh, App Store just type maths alarm okay now what happens is once you once you have set the alarm at that particular point in time, it will not allow you to switch off unless you solve a maths problem. So what happens now? If you start solving a maths problem, obviously you will be awake and all the lights are on. That's how initial days I programmed myself to wake up at 4 o'clock. But the benefit I'm going to show you a little later. But for all those who say that, no sir, I'm a late, lighter, a late nighter, that's okay. But what's the benefit of this? I'll tell you a little later. So... For now, the smart plug plus maths alarm is an amazing concept where you just control your smart plugs using Alexa and you set the time that at 4 o'clock in the morning, switch on all the lights. So all the lights will switch on, the alarm will start ringing, but now you don't know how to switch off the alarm because you have to solve a maths question, right? And when you start, try to solve maths question, you have to apply your brain. So brain is fully awake. So now you, you cannot go back to sleep. Isn't that amazing? So that smartness is combining old tools with the new ones. That's how you can wake up a little early. So we have a small exercise now for all of you. The first one is which ones among these you already knew? Tell me. Which ones you already knew? Apart from whatever I discussed till now, what, which all you knew already? Quickly guys. Okay, you knew Alexa. Good. Wonderful. So now... Next question, how do you use them? Do you use them the same way how I do? Or do you have a new way of time management using these tools? So Madhura knew Alexa already, wonderful. Manjunath, of course, we all knew whiteboards. Alexa, we know math clock, wonderful Upendra. I'm sure it is helping you wake up early. You know, procrastination is a human behavior and maths is anti-procrastination. Put maths in your alarm and then you see. You can't sleep longer, okay? Alexa, you knew. Okay, wonderful. Everybody knew Alexa. So how do you use them, guys? Tell me. How do you use these uh, apps to your advantage? How do you use it to stay productive? How do you use it to manage your time? Tell me in the chat box. I would love to learn more from you all. Okay, while all of you are typing, let's move on to the, some practical time management tips. So what, I, what we have done is now we have discussed the tools and life hacks. Now we'll move quickly to the practical time management tips. So first one. The tip one to, uh, for all of you is stretch your day. So how do you stretch your day? So uh, in, uh, in Sanskrit, we have uh, a shloka which says that uh, Vidyarthi has, you know, you have, you have to have a attention like a 
you know, swan. You have to focus like a swan, but you have to sleep less and, you know, spend more time studying, right? So stretch your day. So there are two ways to stretch your day. One is you, you know, stay late at night and study. Or second is you wake up early in the morning. But as biologists, we all know, we all know this, that if we stay late at night or if we sleep lesser than what is required, our circadian rhythm gets impacted. Lack of sleep leads to a lot of hormonal issues, including hair loss, including uh, estrogen and progesterone imbalance, including PCOD, including a lot of uh, migraine and other stuff, right? So obviously, that's not a good idea, right? So you must sleep for a fixed hour, say six hours you should sleep. But you should sleep at the right time, fixed time. Fixed time, right time and wake up at this fixed time because body doesn't know that you have exam. Body just knows that it has to sleep. So stretch your day but not at the expense of your health. Wake up early and use maths alarm. So you can use the maths alarm like I have shown you here. Okay, so you can use a smart plug to switch on all the lights at four o'clock suppose in the morning and then use maths alarm to wake yourself up. Right, so that's your stretch your day. To all those people with due respect who are studying at night, do it as long as you can, but please do not stretch it beyond two o'clock because your body needs rest. Okay, I have myself done, you know, a lot of coding days uh, in my, you know, young, young age, I used to sit for like four o'clock also we are working, but eventually it will have a bad, bad effect on your, uh, you know, spinal cord, in, on your body, your circadian rhythm, your hormonal issues will start. So don't do that. Instead, start waking up early. That's a very, very good habit. Okay, now. Second tip, set smart goals. Now, let me give you an example. So everybody says smart goal, banalo, smart goal, banalo, but actually care what exactly it is. So the first thing here, analyze and ask. Okay, first thing, analyze and ask. Specific, for example, which topic I should study today? So that's specific. Measurable, how many subtopics I should study today? Achie achievable, right? What's my track record of past achievements? Okay. Now, realistic, is there any other priority work today? Time bound, can I achieve it in first three hours of the day? So you have measured it, you have, you know, decided whether you can achieve it or not, you find it out whether it is realistic or not, and then you keep it time bound so that you can achieve in that particular moment. So I would, you know, request all of you to take a screenshot of this, I'll just move out of the screen. This is an excellent way to think about your SMART goals. Specific which topic you want to study, measurable, how many, okay, achievable, what's my track record of the past achievement, whether, whether I'll be able to achieve or not, okay, and then realistic, is there any priority, any other priority which I have to achieve, and then time bound, can I achieve in the first three hours or whatever hours, right, so this is where it goes, right, so this is how you smart, you set up your smart goals, now, quickly, tip number three, find a very good time tracking software, okay? See, I personally started with Alexa and then I moved to Notability and Any.do and today I plan my day on Todoist and Notability. These are my famous, I mean, go-to apps to, you know, uh, plan my day and for ideas I use Google Keep. All this have a free version as well as a paid version except Notability which is only on iPad and it's a paid version but yes, all others I have a free version as, as well as a paid version, so you can choose any of them. But remember, tools are always costly, okay? That's how they charge you because they make your life easy. So Todoist, Any.do, Alexa, Google Calendar, Notability, and Google Keep. These are the four to five softwares which you can use interchangeably to, you know, make your life productive, make, a, keep a track of the time which you are spending or investing on anything, okay? So that's about our time tracking software. Tip number four, mornings for MIT. What is MIT? Most important task. Now that you have to decide one day prior that what is going to be my next day's most important task. And that particular thing you have to do in the morning. Mornings for MIT, right? Everybody in the chat box quickly. Morning for MIT, morning for MIT. Tip number four, morning for MIT. Can we have that? Yes. Mornings for MIT, right? Tip number four. Now, tip number five, discover your flow state, right? Remember we discussed the 80-20 principle last time, right? So what was that? 
20% of the time which you, you have to identify where you are most productive, where you are achieving the flow state and then expand it. Suppose morning 4 to 6 you are able to study more and then everybody wakes up and then you are not able to study. So expand that time, maybe 4 to 7, maybe 4 to 8. Okay, so when you are able to expand your time in that particular zone, when you are in your zone, nobody can disturb you. When you are in a flow state, you enjoy. Remember, studying is all about enjoyment. Work is all about enjoyment, right? Long back, Steve Jobs said that, you know, a large part of your life, you're going to invest on work or studying. So why not make it enjoyable? Why not achieve flow state? And how do you do it? Identify that 20% of the time where you achieve flow state and then continue it, right? So tip number five, everybody in the chat box, flow state, everybody chat box, please type flow state, achieve flow state, achieve flow state. Okay. Now tip number six, very important, revise smart. And that is where Biotechnica comes into picture. Biotechnica has innovated and brought up excellent tools for revision, smart revision. Now we start with Conceptica Lite and Conceptica series. Concept Table, where you can compare and study. Concept Wheel, which helps you have a central idea, colorful flowcharts, colorful diagrams, helps you remember the features of every central idea, say um, Kelvin cycle, whatever. And then you have the Concept Cloud and Flash Notes, flashcards, which will help you prepare faster by revising faster. Now these revising smart tools are going to come up free of cost to all the students who have already enrolled in the Josh batch. So I would like to quickly remind all of you about the Josh batch. I would request to bring up the video over there. So as you can see, Josh batch is all about RAID classes by CSINet and Gate Experts, interactive, unlimited online classes, printed hard copy study material will be sent to your home, state-of-the-art online study portal with e-library facility, all these e-books will be available along with 24-7 academic chat support and class tests, monthly practice tests and yes, we are giving away free computational biology internship plus motivational sessions from myself free of cost to all the students who are enrolling into the Josh Batch which starts today. And if you wish to enroll, you can just dial 1-800-1200-1818 or 080-509-7000. You can also email us at info at the rate biotechnica.org. Okay, so this is all about the Josh batch. This particular batch will not just help you revise smart, but prepare smart. Remember, time is short and task is more. So how to achieve more in less time is all about Josh batch. Josh mein padhenge aur jeetenge, we'll study faster, we are, we'll study better, we'll study smarter, we'll study old school as well as new school and we are going to bring up the best out of your talent. That's all about the Josh batch guys. Thank you so much and I can see, okay Aditi, welcome, you have already joined the JCB batch, wonderful. Uh, Paromita says that she has used Conceptica in its light version as well. They are awesome and helpful. Thank you Paromita for the endorsement. I really loved your feedback and would continue to make such newer tools for all of you. So this is all about the tip number six. Now let's talk about the A, B, C, D, E rule. Okay. So always, we always keep two topics. Okay. One is the most important topic or most important task. Then B is the less important task. Okay. Now the three is the task, which is, which is having a no consequence. For example, my goal is to qualify CSI in it. Washing clothes will have no consequence on my goal. Right. So what do, what should we do? Eliminate it. Right. Or delegate it. So that's where D comes. Delegate it. So you can just assign it to someone else. For example, uh, washing clothes. Maybe you can assign it to someone else. Right. Eliminate. For example, uh, watching TV. So I've got a bad habit of watching TV. So but that 15, 20 minutes, it's eating every day. So why not eliminate it? So you will always have four to five types of tasks in your hand. A and B is always your important tasks. Okay, most important and less important. Third is no consequence task, like watching TV or maybe washing clothes or you know cooking. So those things you can always delegate, you can assign it to someone, but it may cost you money, that's all right. But remember, what's your goal? Your goal is to achieve your, you know, uh, end destination, right? So then eliminatable tasks, some things which you can just eliminate, 
right? For example, when I started making this PowerPoint, I had 116 slides. So what I did, I elim eliminated a lot of it and I'm coming with a crisp, concise version, which can be covered in one hour, right? So having said that, since I have only 21 minutes now, I come with the 4D system. What is a 4D system? Delete or drop whatever is not required. Delegate whatever can be outsourced. Defer whatever is not needed and do what is needed. So quickly everybody take a screenshot and type in the chat box. Everybody type in the chat box. 4D. 4D. Everybody. 4D in the chat box. Just type 4D. Okay. So that you remember. Why I'm asking you to type in the chat box. So that you remember because... I'll be gone after one hour, 21 minutes I'll be gone, but you have to live your life not in the default mode forever. So 4D system, you'll always remember 3D you have heard of, right? So 4D, delete, delegate, defer, do. Delete, delegate, defer, do. Delete whatever is not required, Netflix, delete it. Delegate, cooking you can delegate, defer, maybe the, you know washing clothes you can defer to the next day maybe. Do what's required which pushes you towards your goal. Right? Have clearly defined goals and push yourself towards, towards it. You know how do you become a topper? Find the person who is a topper and achieve one more marks than him. And how do you do that? 4D system. Delete, delegate, defer, do. 4D, 4D. Yes, wonderful. I like that Josh. I like that Josh. Wonderful. Now, here's a 15 minutes rule which I follow myself. I spend 15 minutes in planning in every morning. Without a plan, you're nothing. Spend 15 minutes on what you're going to do today. Another 15 minutes on perfect meditation. Okay, meditation is all about just sitting down, putting down your earphones, put, put up any meditation app. There are a lot of free meditation apps. 15 minutes, just watch your thoughts go by, right? If we can't sit in a room alone, watching our own thoughts, then we cannot control our mind. And if we cannot control our mind, then we will not be able to control our distractions. We will always get distracted. 15 minutes of pause after every two hours of studies. That's a third P, right? Pause after every two hours. Okay, 45 minutes, thoda kam hai. Okay, two hours. At least two hours study and then pause. 15 minutes of entertainment. Bohat zaruri hai. Now, you may find entertainment by chatting to your friend or maybe watching news or watching uh, some serial. Okay, 15 minutes. Then 15 minutes of enlightenment, wisdom. Why this 15 minutes of enlightenment is required? Because this is what pushes us towards our goal. You know, philosophy and psychology, there are two beautiful things around us. If we want to be successful in any competitive exam or any part of our life, then we must follow the 15 minutes rule, where which has planning, perfect meditation, pause, entertainment and enlightenment. Okay. So Paramita says, I deleted Facebook, Insta and many useless apps after attending the last motivational session by Shekhar. So thank you so much, Paramita. I hope you are finding yourself much more productive. Even if I could add one minute extra to your life, I will say, I will say my sessions are already successful. Whether you have joined the Josh Batch or not, if you are already experiencing success, isn't that what I wanted? So... For all those who have not joined, you can always join Josh Batch. But if in case you are finding it difficult, you can always implement these strategies to your life. Okay, 15 minutes rule done. Next, our next agenda is smart list. So we always say, sir, planning, karenge, planning, karenge. how do you do the plan? How do you create a smart list? So how does a typical plan looks like? Can you see that? So do laundry, call your bank, then read some book, then, you know, uh, emailed somebody. So this is how our general, uh, you know, to-do list looks. But this is a wrong way of creating a list. Instead, it should look like this. First, create three columns and write urgent and important. Then you have not urgent, but important. And the third one is not urgent, not important. So UI, NUI and NUNI. So this is the four short forms. Okay. So basically, what we have to urgent and important, right? So what it should like look like, whatever is urgent, we'll type in the first column. We'll write in the first column, right? So now basically this is how our list should look like. First, we should write whatever is urgent and important. Okay, then write whatever is not urgent, not but important. The third is not urgent, not important, okay? So now this is the correct direction. 
but generally how do we do it how do we do things is we start writing from you know not urgent not important and then we write the urgent but important and then we write the urgent and important right if we do this way then it is a wrong way of doing it first you have to write what is urgent what is important and do it so this is a priority structure i am showing you for your to do list so suppose you want to study first study the urgent and important topics then move to the urgent not urgent but important topics and the third then you move to not urgent not important topics it's very simple okay if you want you can always uh, take a screenshot of this right so this is all about our prioritizing your list what happened in the last slide if you see we all create a list and we keep wondering why are we not able to capture it but the truth is how do you do that this is how you prioritize your list so help to help you you know i have created a matrix for all of you the urgent important matrix okay important urgent matrix so uh, let me quickly just move on the other side of the screen and i can show you so the task which is which is urgent and important goes to the number 1 okay the task which is not urgent but important goes to number 2 the third will be the task which is not important but urgent the fourth priority will go here not urgent and not important so if you have four task the first task will be important and urgent okay the second work which you have to do is not urgent but important the third uh, you have to do is urgent not important and the fourth you have to do is which is not urgent and not at all important so this is how you prioritize this is the important urgent matrix and many people will not understand it so if you didn't get it you can probably rewind this video and watch it later or maybe take a screenshot and you know try to understand later so this is all about your unique way of studying unique way of prioritizing your studies because without a priority you are directionless right so what we can type here what is the take away here without prioritization you are directionless priority is equal to direction can we type in the chat box priority is equal to direction everybody in the chat box i still have 14 minutes guys i need to cover a lot so quickly everybody please type in the chat box priority is equal to direction yes okay wonderful so now let's move on we'll have a exercise if you have a notebook around please draw three columns in your notebook and create your own urgent important matrix okay priority is equal to direction so this exercise you can do it later okay for now i'm just showing it to you this exercise you should do actually generally in the classroom i do it but since i have less time so i don't i'm not doing it right now so draw three columns in your notebook and draw your own urgent important matrix okay so this is the urgent important matrix okay 1 2 3 4 right so now let's move to the next part which is delegating and elevating right so you know our pradhan mantri says atmanirbhar bharat abhiyan right so we have to make our family members not to depend on us because if they are depending on us then we cannot do our priority task right now many of you will be housewives mother of small kids with big dreams right many of you i meet who have a lot of responsibilities of their parents or their siblings or their cousin whatever right so all you have to do is you have to assign tasks to your siblings children and spouse okay so suppose washing clothes or washing dishes you can always or cooking you can always outsource to your family or someone whom you can hire that way what happens is you will be able to keep your mind free to focus on your task because at the end of the day if you become a non achiever hardly matters all you will do is keep having regrets that cash maybe if, if i had the right conditions i would have qualified this csi net or gate but the truth is you are not qualifying because you are becoming a victim of circumstance use the delegate delegation you you can assign the task to your you know brother or sister or children or spouse and reward them each time they accomplish it give them some prize okay so that way you keep yourself free and then you can study right so type in the chat box delegation is equal to free time to study delegation is equal to free time to study d e l e g a t i o n delegation is equal to free time to study we all say no we are not getting free time to study right this is how you can study in the in your free time isn't that amazing now you look at this so far 45 minutes 48 minutes into the webinar did i ask did i talk about anything which is very bookish 
these are very practical tips these are, this, these are nowhere to be found and these are a mixture of my experience and my learning and all, the entire team of biotechnica coming together and compiling all this so imagine the same team biotechnica when they come together to teach you they are so knowledgeable so advanced and so much practical knowledge they possess that when they start teaching you physics and it, you are going to really enjoy it okay so that's the takeaway here everybody delegation is equal to free time to study amazing isn't it okay now quickly reward yourself why you have to reward yourself very important now, you know, I reward myself. In fact, after this webinar, I'm going to reward myself because all the positive feedback which I'm getting in my mobile right now from all of you, I always reward myself. And you know, my way of rewarding myself is probably to eat something nice or to pat my back or to watch the entire video once again. I will be watching this video all together once again because, you know, listening is learning. Listening is learning, right? So that's how I reward myself by listening to myself, patting my back and throwing a party. So after this webinar, we're going to have a small pizza party, right? So first thing, announce that you have achieved something. Very important. Tell your friends, tell your family members, just update in WhatsApp. Wow, I finished this chapter. Then treat yourself. Throw a party. Cook something nice. Treat someone you love. Okay, give some treat. And click pictures and create memories. Life is all about enjoyment, not just studies, right? So when you reward yourself, you enjoy. And remember the productivity in equation, what it was? Productivity is equal to output divided by time taken multiplied by the fun factor, right? This is the fun factor when you enjoy, when you give yourself a treat. So tell me guys, when was the last time you rewarded yourself? Tell me in the chat box, when was the last time you rewarded yourself? Yesterday? Today? Last week? Tell me. Let's see who rewarded themselves last time when, right? So quickly in the chat box, last week? Okay, wonderful. Yesterday, okay. Today, you should reward yourself today because you attended this wonderful webinar, right? So you learned something, let's reward yourself, right? So that's where last week, wonderful, wonderful. So that's all about how to reward yourself. Now, I'm going to give you some bonus brownies. Now this is for those people who felt that all the pointers which I discussed till now are not, you know, you cannot apply to your life. So I'm going to show you the snowball effect. So here is a snowball. If, if you ever have been to a country where there's a lot of snowing or maybe Shimla or somewhere, you take a small ball of snow and throw it on a slope. It takes up all the other snow on the ground and it slowly becomes bigger. This is called a snowball effect. So when you have a bad planning, you'll be having a bad execution and then you'll have a big bad ball of snow and that is tension, that is stress, that is the guilt of not being able to achieve success that is a guilt of not being able to you know do something which you always wanted to do tell me do you don't you want to achieve your dream you want to so skip bad planning start doing better planning stop doing bad execution use the time management tools and devices i showed you don't allow this big bad ball of snow instead allow the compounding effect let the good ball of snow good ball of achievement flow towards you so this this is the big this is the bonus brownie i wanted to show you now guys have you ever tried to open 1000 tabs in google chrome if you have a windows laptop or a mac whatever if you have a google chrome browser have you tried opening 1000 uh, you know tabs in your google chrome what happens then do you see something like that it says that the page is unresponsive it is not opening correct so what it is, what exactly this is, remember we talk, talked about it last time, multitasking is sin, everybody in the chat box, everybody in the chat box, quickly in type, multitasking is sin, multitasking is sin, when you do multitasking what happens, you end up stressed and you end up killing all the tasks, you will not be able to focus on one task, you will not be able to get into the flow state and that's what we want you to not do multitasking is sin don't do it never do it okay in fact i'll tell you when i'm looking here i am making sure that i'm just looking here i'm not looking anywhere else i'm not thinking anything else right i'm here i'm in the present when you are living in the present you will not worry about what's going to happen tomorrow or today or day after just focus on right now right now what is the one best thing i can do to you is talking with all my experience and telling you the right things. Multitasking is sin, everybody. Multitasking is sin. Whenever you're studying, don't study multiple topics. Don't study multiple subjects. Don't try to focus on a lot of things. 
Here is an example. If you dig one feet well, thousand well of one feet, can you get water? No. You dig one well of thousand feet, you'll get water. Correct? So that's the first example. The second example, when you take a rock and hit it with a hammer, the first hit will not break it, but the hundredth hit will break it. But does it mean that the first, break, first hit was not effective? It was effective, just that it takes time, compounding, right? So the first day at studies will always sound like alien. It will always sound like, Are, maza nahi aaya. but slowly, slowly as you develop interest, you'll enjoy. But if you start doing multitasking, you will never enjoy. And when you don't enjoy, what happens? You close it. You close it like Google Chrome, right? So now, what time you should plan? That's the next question to be asked. You can either do it last thing in the night, maybe 9.30 or 10 o'clock, or early morning first thing, first thing, right? Now, there are two to three CEOs which I have, uh, you know, I always follow. And one is Indira Noi of Coca-Cola. She wakes up at four o'clock, she walks into the office even before anybody walks in. She runs such a big company, but she is always with her children at two o'clock at lunch. Can you believe that? She never misses lunch with her kids. How? Because she plans early in the morning, right? The next one, if you have heard of Richard Branson, he's one of the most successful person in Britain, okay, Sir Richard Branson. He plans things in the morning and when he's planning, you know what he does? He will put a board on his chamber and which says, do not disturb unless the building is on fire. He's so serious about planning that he will put this board when he's planning, right, in the morning, early morning so that nobody disturbs him unless the building is on fire. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? That's what make these, makes these people successful. If we have to become successful, we have to, all we have to do is learn from them, not copy them, learn from them and implement in our life. The next, I hope you have heard of Brian Tracy. So Brian Tracy is a very famous motivational speaker and he plans at night. So what he does, he, he, he uses his subconscious brain to program his mind for the next day. He has written many awesome books like Eat That Fro Frog. You must read that book. It's awesome. It, he has written it for students also, Eat That Frog for students. If you observe, he utilizes his subconscious mind. You can do that too when you plan. What if you know what you have to do tomorrow and you have already got the list ready? All you have to do is get up and do it. Remember the example I gave you in the second session, pilot, plane and engineer. But when you don't do planning, you can't achieve that as well. So this is all about it. Now let's have a small exercise for all of you. What is one most important thing you learned today from this session? Everybody. What is one most important thing you learned in this session today? Type in the chat box. This way, everybody will learn and we'll get a summary of whatever we learned today. So all of you, please type in chat box. What is one thing you all learned today in this session, which was unique, which was different, which you loved and you're going to implement in your life quickly? Just think and put in here, right? So, okay. So Aditi has a question. First and second day she enjoys and the third day and after that she finds it boring. Because you are not rewarding yourself, you have to get into the flow state, find out when you are into the flow state and expand that. Okay, Aditi, I hope that helps. So, okay, we are getting some nice uh, uh, pointers here. Paramita says, being smart, using smart apps to in increase productivity, wonderful. Grish Manayar says, proper time management. Aditi says, practical apps to improve time management, yes. P. Manjunath says, using apps for reminders and making an effective planning, which saves time. Right, uh, Grishma says use of old technology with new technology. Of course, yes, we learned that. Planning is mandatory and also Gmail can also be a productive app. Yes, of course. Planning the day ahead to be more productive. Yes. So wonderful pointers I'm getting from Sakshi, Grishma, Sampurna, Paramata and Aditi. I invite all of you to type um, Minaz, Mahima, please type in whatever you learned today. So let me put this down and Try to summarize this for you. Guys, this is your life, okay? I'll be walking out in the next five minutes. But I want to make sure that each student of Biotechnica, each subscriber of Biotechnica is not living in a default mode. You don't waste your time on Instagram and Facebook and all such apps because they have programmed themselves that way so that you get hooked to it. 
and ultimately waste your time. But imagine if you waste five minutes for continuous 12 days, you have wasted one hour. In that one hour, you would have probably finished a chapter. Probably you would have solved 20 multiple choice questions of part C. Probably. So the idea here is if we have to achieve our goals, we have to come into full josh, we have to be driven we have to have that craziness towards our goal because it, helping me qualify CSN, it is not YouTube's goal. YouTube's goal is to make me watch more videos, right? After this video, maybe some other will come. But remember, if I just put a spoonful of concepts into your mouth, that's not going to help you qualify the exam. Helping you think logically, implement concepts logically, recall better, that's what is a need of the hour. And that is why in the first three classes of Josh Batch, we did not talk about any concepts. We talked about strategy. We talked about productivity. We talked about motivation. And today we talked about time management. But did I tell you what time you should do what? That's your life. You decide. My job is to tell you what apps you can use to be smart. What apps you can combine together to be better. Right? So that's all about today's session, guys. I hope you found it wonderful and useful. Please be in touch. My email ID is shaker at biotechnica.org and I welcome all of you to write to me if you learned something. Even if one thing you learned, please email me because these emails are my source of motivation like I told you earlier. Alright, so that's all about our session. And yes, Josh Batch has started today and you're going to get free computational biology internship to do the welcome session has already started. So you can attend that and from tomorrow onwards, you can be in full, full flow with concepts and motivation and josh. So let's start our preparation for CS Anatom Gate. Let's win the world together. One concept at a time in a right manner with productivity, with time management and with the right set of motivation and discipline. So that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this session. I'll see you soon in our next video or next session whenever I'm live. Thank you. Take care. Good night. I'll see you soon on the other side in Josh Patch. Bye-bye.